And we're back on halftime. I'm Bob Pisani with today's ETF Edge. Two big stories in ETF land to start the fourth quarter. The first, Ether Futures ETFs. They're trading right here. And big inflows continuing into bond funds. Let's talk with Simeon Hyman. He's the head of investment strategy at ProShares. Brian Lake, global head of ETF solutions at J.P. Morgan Asset Management. Simeon, today, three new ETFs right here at the NYSE. ProShares Ether Strategy ETF, the first ones. Ether ETFs. What's this all about? Indeed, EETH is our Ether Strategy ETF. BETH uh, is the Bitcoin Ether Market Cap Weighted, and BETE Betty is the Bitcoin Ether uh, Equal Weight ETF. We're really pleased to bring them. We're the guys that brought you Bitto. You and I were here right. two years ago. That's the biggest crypto ETF. Futures in an ETF works really, really well. You can buy it in your brokerage account, and we're trading nicely with really tight spreads today. Speaking of Bitcoin, uh, you run BITO. That's the biggest Bitcoin futures ETF. What is the status of the Bitcoin ETF? We're waiting for Gary Gensler, head of the SEC, to make a decision on this. When is it going to happen? Where are we at right now? All we know is BITO, the uh, BITO, is a futures-driven ETF with a billion dollars in it and it tracks spot real well, and you have the combination of regulated futures in an ETF, we think it's a great solution. I'm gonna get a better answer on, out of you on ETF <laughs> Edge. Brian, big inflows continue into money market, short-term treasury ETFs. Investors are loving these 5% yields. It's real competition, but now we've seen big inflows into other things, short-term investment-grade corporate ETFs, like the ultra-short income one that you have there. Yeah. What's going on here? Why take the added risk of, of investment grade? It, it, it's an attractive place to be right now. You can step out of cash. Uh, JPST's objective is to outperform cash by 40 to 60 basis points, so give or take about a half a percent. SEC yield right now is 5.38 percent. A PM was emailing me over the weekend. He's buying one-year investment grade paper between 5.8 and 6.2%. It's a very attractive spot to be. Compared to the ag, you're getting 108% of the yield with only 10% of the duration. It's a pretty, pretty attractive ag, place to hang out. Of course, it's a conglomeration of all of the bonds uh, in the it. United States. Is this a permanent change in consumer behavior? Are bond funds like these going to really pose really serious threat to stocks? It seems like it is. They're, the money is staying. It's very sticky in these bond funds. Uh, you know, maybe, but I think that they're just going to going back to playing their historical role in a portfolio where you want to have equities and you want to have your fixed income. Uh, and the fixed income was always the ballast to the portfolio, but there's still a lot of opportunity uh, on the equity side. Obviously, JEPQ is an attractive uh, strategy. It's covered call on, on, a, on a growth basket, kind of the NASDAQ 100, still yielding 13%. So for those My that are a little... My point is the investors seem very unhappy with the risk-reward ratio a risk-reward return of owning stocks right now over bonds. Uh, viewers keep telling me, Bob, I'm happy with my 5% right now. I know I can get more in stocks. I just don't feel it right now. They, that's the attitude right now. Worrisome. Yeah, uh, worrisome, yes, but think about where we're coming from. 2022 was a really tough year. Markets rally heavily through the first part of this year, and so a lot of investors caught off sides. Maybe they've caught up on some of that. We've seen that catch-up trade happening a little bit. I think they want to grind to the end of the year and see if they can get that 5 or 6%. That seems pretty attractive. Thanks, guys. Much more on where the search for yield is heading. It's coming up on ETF Edge, 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time, along with more on the Bitcoin ETF. I promise you we're going to have more on it. Brian and Simeon will be joined by Todd Sohn. He's the ETF and technical strategist at Strategist. That's ETFedge.cnbc.com. Scott, back to you.